Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. Today's system is from the user Demos in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in their system. And their system is called the Celestara 6 Star System, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. So it should really be on the workshop for us, there it is. Okay, right, let's see what they have prepared for us. Okay, here we go, right. Some stars going on here. Let's see what it is without the goggles on. Oh, yeah. I only see two stars so far. Where were the other ones? All right. I guess we'll find out. So, oh, maybe it's these guys here. Okay, right. So, Stellar Star A. It's a red giant star. A massive luminous star that has exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core. Its reddish hue and large size are evidence in the image. The star is orbited by two dwarf stars, creating a complex gravitational environment. Five planets also orbit it, likely experience intense radiation and tidal forces due to the star's size and presence of its dwarf star companions. The potential for life within the system is uncertain as the intense heat and radiation from the red giant could pose significant challenges. That is quite a wild system. So we've got the initial red giant star here. Then we have one of the secondary stars down here, one of the red dwarfs. Okay, and obviously that's going to be in the sheer light of that. Oh, yeah. Completely lost in the brightness. We've got the second star over here, AC as well. And that is... Oh, my God. So that's in a binary with another star. <laughs> right. Is that a brown or a red dwarf? I can't really tell. It's a bit annoying we can't see with that menu in the way. Right. That looks to be a brown dwarf. And then we can uh, open it up again. Right. That's quite, uh, quite the uh, thing we already have going on here. So that's... That's A, B, A, C, and then A, C, B, I think it's called. Yeah, A, C, B, okay. All right, so first of the planets, we've got A, D over here, right. So in the glare of the many stars, here it is. A gas dwarf, closest planet to the three stars. It has a mass of 5.8 Earth masses and a radius of 5.6 Earth. Its proximity to the stars like results in extreme temperatures and intense radiation. The swirling bands of color in its atmosphere suggest dynamic and potentially turbulent environment. Nice. Good. Okay, next up we've got AE over here. Another dwarf planet. It's got a little moon as well. In the radius of 1,076 kilometers and a thin nitrogen atmosphere. It possesses a single moon, suggesting a complex theory and potential for interesting gravitational interactions. There's the moon there. Okay. Notice how they're not receiving light from the star in the background, so. Stars obviously not bright enough to get light over here by the looks of things. Alright, okay, so there's those guys. Right, so now heading to AF, next planet out. Okay, here it is. Terrestrial planet with a mass of 0.9 Earth masses and a radius of 0.9 Earth radius. Its atmosphere is composed primarily of sulfur dioxide, 1.2 atmospheres, and oxygen of 0.6 Earth atmospheres. The planet also possesses significant oceans of liquid sulfur dioxide covering approximately 0.34 of its surface. It has one moon, which is also has a thin sulfur dioxide atmosphere. Okay, so there they are. There's the moon. The moon also has a little moon itself. There it is. A little asteroid in orbit. Okay. Looking good. Right, next up we've got AG. Next object out over here. There it is. It's an ocean world. I look at things. A water world planet with no land. It has a rotational period of two months and a liquid depth of 12.3 kilometers. The planet possesses two moons. One close to the Rouge limit and another with four moons of its own. It is characterised by almost black clouds due to constant storms and strong winds. Scientists discovered the presence of water-based tornadoes on this planet. Oh yeah, that's really nice. There's the moon almost in the Rouge limit. That's going to create quite the... Uh, maybe we'll have to manually intervene and make that happen and see what happens. And there's the moon with four moons. There it is, looking good. Next up we've got AH. The largest of the in this system. A gas giant with a mass of 1.4 Jupiters and a radius of 1.6 Jupiters. It has eight moons suggesting a complex system of satellites and potentially a dynamic environment shaped by gravitational interactions between the planet and the moons. It's oh, so annoying and the menu's different now in this update. Just keep closing it. Ah. So here we go. Cool. Right. 
So where are we heading next? So that's AH. Oh, uh, yeah, that's AH. Where are we? It's AG, H, H. Okay, now we're heading to ACB. So there's a barrier center in the middle. We'll see if we can tame the binary between the two stars. So we're heading over here now. Was ACB the, the little one that was near? I think that was the one that was near the. Yeah, oh, it was the one. It was the pop. The, yeah. All right, so it's this object here. So it's, we're back down here again. So hot gas door. A hot gas door. Yeah, it is a hot gas door. Um, we attempt to reach in 2300 degrees radius of pre-earth radius and a core mass of 24 earth masses. Due to the extreme heat, the planet is rapidly losing its outer layers and within one million years it is expected to shed its atmosphere and ruin its core. The planet's atmosphere is currently dominated by vaporized water and it's believed that ACB was once a gas giant with a radius of 1.2 Jupiters that has had a lot of erosion. Now, I'm not surprised, it's right next to that star there, ACB. Yeah, that's that's quite close, so that's the actual, uh, I'll just close this one, so. And the actual planet. Yeah, there you go. Turn the goggles off. You get a better look at it. So you can see the glow it seems to make that one actually appear larger than it actually is. So there you go. That's what's getting me a little confused. So the glow is kind of a. Well, technically, that one looks a little bigger, but it isn't. Interesting. Okay, so that's how it's going. Right, so now we're heading now towards the next star. That's the A B. Sorry, so second star doesn't look like there's a description for it. No, ACB now we're heading to BE. Closest back to the three stars in the system. That is BE. Confused with the navigation. Where am I going? Right. AC, so we've just an ACB, which is all the way down here. Turn those on quickly. So ACB's there. BE. So that implies it's around the second star. So it should be over here. B. There, there. Okay, so we're heading here next. All right. Bit of a weird navigation order, but there it is. Closest planet to the three stars. It possesses a remarkably strong magnetic field with a strength of approximately 106 gauss. Uh, this power enough creates a protective sphere around the planet, shielding it from the intense radiation and stellar winds from the nearby stars. Okay. And to BE, then BF. This is a very strange order. Right. What is going on here? That is a very weird. The planet of a mass of 1.4 Earth masses and a radius of 1.09 exhibits a unique atmosphere phenomenon. The entire planet is enveloped in an atmosphere of carbon dioxide except for the north and south poles, which are covered in oxygen. The most intriguing aspect is the gap between the oxygen and carbon dioxide atmospheres, a region devoid of any atmosphere. This anomalous region, defying current understanding of atmosphere dynamics, appears to lack gravity. Creating a zone where stepping out would be fatal. That is a very bizarre. Down there, and it has a moon it's in a binary with. Largest in the system with radius of 3100. Scientists have raised concerns about the long term stability of the moon's orbit, suggesting it may eventually escape the planet's gravitational pull. Okay, there you go. Alright, interesting stuff. Then BG. So we've just skipped like all of those objects. That is weird. There was definitely no mention of those B planets or so. No. That is very strange. Right, um, so now into BG. Maybe they got the individual descriptions. There's no mention of it though, because we haven't really set that rule yet with the new uh, update. Because this is still the last uh, set of releases before we even had that update. Right, a gas giant with a mass of 0.6 Jupiters and a radius of 1 Jupiter, pretty much. The planet is known for its striking beauty with bands of vibrant blue, purple, and pink clouds swirling across the surface. It is believed to be the first planet to form in the system having captured an infinite amount of primordial material during its formation. It has seven moons, including two large moons and five small ones. So that's everything the description has for us. So there we go. There's definitely no custom description yet. Yeah. Right. So that's what the first moons. BG, you can see there's a purple, and the mine. Okay, so they're the miners. Okay, so it's just these two moons here. Yeah. Okay, nice. Right, so what is the mystery behind the objects here? These have so they don't have a custom description. These guys. 
Ah, so these are just another three stars. All right. So we've got B, BB. It's a more red dwarf by the looks of it. BC over here. Again, it's another... Looks to be a red dwarf slash brown dwarf. I think that's a red dwarf. And then that has a individual planet around it and a very crazy orbit. BD. No mention of this in the description, though. It has no custom description. Yeah, that's really weird. That's a cool view. Ooh, I like that. That's a really cool picture, actually. Look at that. Let's get a little bit of a cinematic view there. I don't know. That may be our thumbnail there. If we turn out what? Yeah, I like that. Oh, I think that'll probably be our thumbnail. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Hey, that's a cool picture. Always like a cool picture. Right, so. That's all those guys. We had BE over here, which was the where the description started. You can see this one's just faintly receiving light from behind by those things. You turn the light, the goggles on, you can see it's just a tiny bit of light from that red giant in the distance. Yeah, the red giant doesn't look very big until you turn the goggles off. There you are. All right, okay. Quite a nice system. But one thing I do want to do is go back to that object that was going to have that moon destroy. So I think it was around the star, wasn't it? Right, which one was it? I think it was around... Is it AH? That was, that was a rocky planet, I think, wasn't it? G? I think it was, yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, this moon was going to be on a... Uh, Bit of a collision, co well, a bit of a rush limit collision, so... Oh, collision, not collision, really. Right, I want to move it a little closer. I want to see this in action, because it's pretty close to the parent planet already. Let's speed things up. There you go. Right, I'm going to slowly dissolve the orbit myself here, so where are we? Slowly lower it. You know, that rush limit's going to start getting a little wild. There's a big eclipse there. Look at that. It's a little closer, closer, closer. I want to see some action. Gravitational forces are going to get it pretty wild. What's the mass difference? This is super, that's tiny, and then that's too, uh, yeah, this is easy to get shredded real fast. Move it closer until it eventually does enter the roosh. Let's see. Still holding on. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's been shredded. Look at it. Oh, turn the goggles off, get a better view of it. Oh, yeah. Look at it being absolutely shredded. Some of that material. Oh yeah. There you go. So no longer it has been absolutely wrecked. Look at it. It's gonna create a little ring system. There it is. Let it play out for a bit. Watch all of that sling round, eventually it'll get a there you go! Hey hey! Check that out! Building a little ring system there. Very cool. The remains of the moon are in there somewhere. Watch after a while. So we should see those orbits. Um, that was a bit where the goggles are. No, those rings are slowly just sort of exist there. Whatever the left of it. Well, I thought there's more particles. So you can see the remains of the moon still there, but it's just absolutely gone. Back down to 90 kilometers. Can't really see the particles much though. I don't think there's much of them there, to be honest. I think most of them have been uh, slung out. But there you go. So that's the end of that. That moon has been gone. So. I guess eventually it'll just keep falling, won't it? Uh, <laughs> nah, I doubt that. It'd just be completely shredded. That shouldn't even really exist that slightly more, I guess. Actually, it'd just completely go. <laughs> there it is. So, throw it in. That's rotation going now. Oops, we're going. Slam it in. Fall in. 40 minutes. That's <laughs> nothing left of it. And it's inside the planet, by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm not sure that's quite right. But there you go. So, that does it for the system, everybody. So, let's get the full line up of it. We can see all the particles flying around. Cool. So there we are. That cash oh, was a few smoke in that cash. What's going on here? Oh. There you go. So that does it for this system, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, press that like button as well. Again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Demos, for sending this in. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, everybody, that was said and done. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video. And also subscribe if you haven't already. Help us on a journey to 50,000 subscribers. And yeah, that was said and done. Make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.